Hi friends, in this video we will know about multi view projection. Then, uh, what all are the different views are there? And most of the people, what it is considered? Most of the people, they may consider multi view as a orthographic projection. If you ask many of the people in the <coughs> colleges, this uh, front view, top view, side view, whenever they are drawing, they will consider it as a orthographic. Strictly speaking, it is not only orthographic, it is comes under multi view. Why sir? Because isometric will also comes under multi view, sorry, orthographic projection. If you have the doubt, so in the previous class itself, I gave this particular classification chart. So once if you observe this, what it is? In orthographic projection, in uh, in orthographic projection, first angle projection is one type and isometric is also another type. But most of the people will think that front view, top view, side view are given. It is orthographic and if you draw all these things, front object, top of the view and side view, then it is a different and it is considered as a isometric try to keep that information away because it is not correct because for isometric and orthographic both will comes under isometric and first angle projection that is nothing but front view top view side view whenever you are drawing the diagram like this or whenever you are drawing the diagram like this both will comes under orthographic projection but that is why I was mentioned multi view which is also considered some people may consider it as a orthographic. So for you are avoiding the confusion in bracket I mentioned it because multi view is one type of orthographic projection. So here what are the characters we have to remember for multi view projection. So what all are they I will write the information here these are the most important that is first one is the total information of the object, the info of an object can be can be obtained by changing the position which is also considered as orientation of the observer so here important word is changing the position of the observer so if the, here the observer is changing his position to get the complete information of an object that is why it is considered as multi view so if he is here if he is here he can able to view from here this is the shadow is one if he is here and he is viewing in this direction the shadow will fall here this is another view if he is here he is going to get the shadow here if he is viewing from here in this direction the shadow will fall here so here this is considered as multi view projection so multi means various diagrams we are getting that's why it is considered as multi view projection so what is the another point we should remember here second point is in this particular projection the projectors are perpendicular to the principal plane so in this case these are the projectors these projectors are perpendicular to the principal plane now <clears throat> another one is here if you observe I drawn the projectors are parallel so in this case all the projectors are
parallel to each other. All these projectors are parallel to each other. And in order to get parallel projectors, what is the condition in this multi view projection? Observer is at infinite distance. Observer is at infinite distance. These are the points you have to remember for multi view projection. Good, so good, sir. You said that it is a multi view. How many views are there? Multi means many. How many it is? So, multi views are divided broadly into two categories. What they are, I will explain now. Just you have a look into it. So now if you have observed this, it is an object, How can, how what are the different views are there sir? For this object, there are three axes are there, or in the space, we will consider three axes, what all are they? This is going to be the x axis or length axis and this is the y axis or height axis. And this one, this one, or otherwise observe this one is the z axis or depth or breadth axis. Good. Now, how many view ways you can able to observe this? So, if you observe from here, for you, this is the front face. So, if you observe from here, whatever the shadow is applied, where the shadow will apply, wherever I am present, on me the shadow will fall. So, I am going to be considered as one principal. So, if an observer is here and if he is observing the object from here, this front shape of the front shape of this object, shadow will fall on me. So, that is why this is called front view. First one is front view. So, why I have to observe from here? Can I observe from here? I am the observer now. I am the observer. Here, there is some screen. There is some screen. If I view from here, this shadow, backside shadow will fall here. Therefore, it is called it is called rare view. Up to now, how many views you are aware of it? Two views. What are they? Front view and rare view. So we'll try to draw them. Whatever we know, we'll write that. Front view and rare view. So these two are observed in which direction? This direction. If you are here, you are viewing viewing like this. Your rays are coming like this. These rays are parallel to which axis? Breadth axis. It is parallel to breadth axis. So viewed in viewed in breadth direction or z direction. viewed in breadth direction or z direction then we are going to get front view or rear view okay sir i will view from here observe that wherever i am showing the finger this is the direction of the rays so if i am viewing from here this is the face this is the face this shadow will be obtained on a plane this so if the plane is like this the shadow is falling here so if i am viewing from here top of the object I am observing, the shadow is going to fall on the plane which is going to be present like this. This is called top view. Top view. So now if I am viewing from here, if I am viewing from 
here. So once we are viewing from here, this bottom shape of the object will falls on a surface like this, falls on a principal plane, which is going to be like this. Is it clear? So this is called, this is called, this surface, whatever the shadow we are going to get, it is called bottom view. So top view and bottom view, top view and bottom view can are the another two views which is obtained by observing in which direction by observing in y direction y direction or height direction so that one also will write so how many views are there another top view and bottom view top view and bottom view so in which direction they are viewed? Viewed in height direction, which is also considered as a y direction. Good, sir. Now, what about the remaining? Sir, this is the right side to the object. So, you are the observer. If I are viewing from here, this is going to be the right side. This is going to be the right side. Am I right or not? So, if you view from here, if you view from here, this is the right side face. The right side face shadow will fall on the plane like this, which is going to be present like this. Which is going to be present like this. Therefore, this is called right side view. Shadow is falling here. This is called right side view. So, if I view from here, this shadow, this shadow will falls on a surface like this. It falls on a surface which is present like this. So this is the right side view. This is the left side view. This is right side view. And this is going to be left side view. So these two will falls on a plane which is going to be present like this. So what are the another two views we are observed? So one is a right side view and left side view. So these two are obtained by viewing in which direction? L direction by view. These are obtained by viewing or these are viewed in length direction which is also considered as x direction. Okay, sir, you said this 6. Now, can I view from here? If I view from here, observe, the rays are coming like this. Then the shadow, where it will fall? The shadow should be perpendicular to the rays. Sorry, projector, projection should be, if the, rays, if the rays are like this, principal plane is like this. If the rays are like this, principal plane is like this. But if the rays are not in edge direction, y direction or z direction, or it is also considered as L, B, H. Then the rays are like this. The rays are like this. Then the principal plane is like this. Principal plane is like this. So it is not X, Y plane, Y, Z plane or Z, X plane. So it is another plane. So I can able to view like this. Or I can able to view like this. Or I can able to view like this. Or I can able to view like this. So here how many ways I can able to observe this object apart from length, height and breadth directions. I can able to view in this direction. This is another view. This is another view. This is going to be one more view. This is going to be another view. So all these views are also present. Then what is the difference between those six views and if you are not viewing in x, y, z directions or L, B, H directions, then what the those views are called? Those views are called, the, that I, you know, just you know it, just here, multi-views, are broadly divided into, two categories, are broadly divided into, two categories with respect to which element they are divided sir with respect to which element with respect to the viewing direction 
viewing direction if we are they are going to view in principal direction principal axis as here you remember one more word principal axis principal axis is nothing but reference axis x y z or l b h are considered as principal axis or reference axis so if you consider the solid this is x axis y axis z axis this is considered as a length axis height axis and it is a breadth axis so with respect to view direction that is x y z or l b h based on these they are divided into two categories they are what they are if it is viewed in l b h directions which is also considered as x y z direction then what they are called these are principal axes principal axes are x y z or l b h so if you are viewing in principal directions then the shadow or the uh, view whatever we are obtain is called principal views principal views what all of the principal views are there sir first one is front view and second one is rear view which is obtained by observing in z direction third one is top view bottom and fifth one right side view sixth one is left side so these are the six principal views so if anybody ask how many views are there for if how many views are there simply you have to give six principal views are six principal views are six okay if they won't use the word principal they simply say it as a views then also you said six if anybody specifies that only six no sir principal views are six without prefix if they ask it automatically we will think that it is principal we will consider it as a principal so sir if it is not six how many it is sir other than principal directions if it is not in not viewed in x y z or l b h directions then what they are called auxiliary views what is the name auxiliary what is meant by auxiliary auxiliary means other than other than auxiliary means other than so then these are called auxiliary views these are called auxiliary views so principal views and auxiliary views so principal views are how many they are principal views are totally six what is auxiliary views auxiliary views are infinity i can able to view in infinite ways that is why auxiliary views are infinity principal views are six only six only so here once if it is viewing here the shadow is going to be fall on a principal plane how many principal planes are there and what they are and what they are we should be aware of them so sir here totally how many views i said six views are there so here So here totally these are the different views are there.
these are the six views are there first of all you observe all these things front view and rear view so if i observe from here if they observe from here the shadow is going to fall on this so this is one principal plane so if i view from here if i view from here the shadow will falls here shadow will falls here therefore front view and rear view will follow on a plane which is going to be here or here these two are same sir these two are same same, uh, same nature it has they are going to be like this how this is this is going to be considered as vertical plane what is that vertical plane therefore front view and rear view will falls on which principal plane front view and top view will falls on which principal plane these two are going to falls on vertical plane this is called one principal plane what all are these six principal views good so we will consider top and bottom so if i observe this object from here from the top then the shadow will falls here this black color sheet black shadow will falls here no sir if i view from here the shadow will falls here so whether it is a bottom view or top view either it is a top view or bottom view both will falls on a plane which is going to be like this how this plane sir for the floor it is parallel so that is floor is considered as a horizontal that is why top view and bottom view will falls on which plane it is falls on horizontal plane good so what about the remaining sir so if it is an object if i view from here it is called right side view right side view right side view shadow will falls here on this plane okay so what about here left side view will falls the shadow on here therefore side view will falls left side view will falls on this right side view will falls on this this plane is called what it is what it is this is considered as profile plane this is considered as profile plane so here how many view, uh, views are there six principal views are there these views will falls on a principal planes those pr planes are called principal planes what are they they are six three principal planes views are six planes are how many principal planes are there they are only three principal planes are three principal planes are three one is vertical plane horizontal plane and profile plane good sir now sir is there any other name for them yes front view is also called with what name so what is the another name of front view front view is also termed as with another name even you can able to observe whenever you are observing the building from the french front view it is very nice then what is the word you are going to give elevation is good elevation is good so the front view is also considered with the word elevation what is the another name of the front view elevation sir what about the is there any other name for the top view yes once if you are going to construct a house then you may ask what is my building plan what is meant by building plan sir so that is nothing but if you view the object from the top by removing the ceiling if the ceiling is not present if you view from the top what is the where is the location of um, common area where is the location for dining area kitchen bedroom and some other amenities what they are where they are going to be located 
that is called plan building plan means top view 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 from the top however it is going to appears it is considered as elevation so the top view sorry top view is also considered as plan plan is nothing but top view elevation is nothing but front view what about side view sir side view even if you observe in the films whenever if uh, now recently released movie pushpa if you observe whenever they are going to record the uh, data of a hero what they will do they are going to take the pictures like this by giving the name and they will take one picture like this this is the elevation picture of the person and you can able to take the picture like this this is called profile picture so nowadays the world is confused with the people because profile picture means all the people are going to place the uh, some particular picture their picture or some other hero's picture as a picture in their uh, wallpaper or as a uh, icon to that particular id so that is uh, considered as a profile picture but actually profile picture or profile view profile play, uh, view is nothing but side view of the object is considered as the profile view so here front view is called elevation top view is called plan side view is called profile view side view is called profile view these three words are also important just you try to remember sir principal views are six therefore how many principal planes will be there planes are three sir auxiliary views are infinity auxiliary planes are also infinity remember normally they won't ask auxiliary planes because infinity divided by 2 is also infinity so it is a very huge number i can able to view in many ways 360 degrees anywhere i can able to observe except lbh so that is why we are don't have we are going to have infinite views and infinite planes auxiliary planes but principal planes are three horizontal vertical and profile on horizontal on horizontal top view and bottom view will falls on vertical front view and rear view will falls on profile left side view and right side view will falls these are the principal planes and principal views of a object so just you observe i will draw drop a diagram then you can able to get the clarity so it is an object here it is going to mention all the views so for this particular object if i am going to view from here this is a front view back side of it is a rear view if i view from here top view this is the bottom view this is going to be the right side view and it is like consider as left side view so these are the six views of it then sir once these views are there in a three dimensional plane but how to draw those in a multi view projection multi view projection if i draw here this is the diagram mentioned in 3d which is a isometric projection isometric object isometric view this is a isometric view sir some other thing is also there my dear friends not only these so if you observe here this is a but this is considered as oblique view this is the oblique view which is a, normally this is a cavalier projection i hope these words we are already come across in the previous video just you look into it so for this this is considered as all of you observe here why it is considered as a cavalier length is horizontal height is vertical breadth is going to be some inclination that is mostly will try it as a 45 that is why it is a uh, oblique projection so for this this is considered as front view if i view from here this is a rear view sir if i view in this direction this is a bottom view if i view from here this is a top view so this is going to be 
right side view and it is going to be left side view. For an object, all these six we can able to consider as the principal views. Sir, I have a doubt. You said first angle projection and third angle projection. In multi view projection, multi view projection, there is two types are there, sir. There are two types of uh, views are there in this again. What all are they? In this, first one is first angle projection. Another one is uh, third angle projection. So here, what is a first angle projection? If he is a observer here, if the observer is uh, here, and this is the principal plane, if an object is placed in between principal plane and observer it is a first angle projection what is in third angle projection if this is the obstacle or a principal plane and it is going to be the object then it is a third angle what is that principal plane is in between object and observer then it is considered as third angle projection so here in order to get the shadow if you are sending the rays like this and in order to get the shadow if it is a transparent rays will goes like this i can't be able to observe what is the shape of the object so here it is going to be opaque sir in this case if it is opaque i can't be able to view what it is are you observe my dear friends so if this is opaque can you able to what is there here no sir but in order to view if the object is here you are the observer in order to view me what it is required this should be transparent it should be transparent so if it is a transparent is it possible yes if it is a transparent it is possible to view so let us consider this case sir this is a transparent can you able to observe what is the words written here yes it is a you can able to observe what is written here so this is a transparent we can able to view what is there behind to it you are the observer here this is the object this will be the principal plane this is the principal plane so whenever whatever it is there in order to draw it so if it is the case they can able to draw this is the picture of this particular person so whenever it is a third angle projection this principal plane should be transparent good sir these are about first angle and third angle projection but what is the relative positions of them i don't know so for that in the next video i will explain in order to get the first uh, 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 the six views in a first angle projection what is the nature and what is the relative positions of front view top view side view similarly for third angle also i will explain to you in my next video